and welcome back to Adora Build. My name is Ruth and my little dog is called Pucky. So today we're going to be checking out this massive Friends set, which is the Heart Lake City Amusement Pier set. And I'm pretty sure that to date, this is the largest friend set that we have ever seen. So let's get on with it. Open up the box and get building. So of course, as we get started, we build our mini dolls. And first up, we have Emma in her beautiful seashell type scallop top. And then we also have Olivia with her sparkly waistcoat and her fantastic leggings. So that was a really great way to start off this build. And then we also start building up our first mini build, side build. And this is the ticket booth with the turnstile. So I think that that's also a really great way to start. I do really like the colors that have been selected for these little side builds with that beautiful nougat color down the bottom quite a lot of white. We also have that gorgeous dark pink and some dark purple, along with some fantastic holographic stickers. So there's the ticket booth all done. And then we move on to our next bag, which also includes Stephanie looking fantastic in her silver shoes. And then our next side build is going to be this super fantastic spinning prize wheel also using very similar colors with the nougat dark pink and the dark purple we also have some of the touches of that beautiful bright light orange in there as well and a fantastic spinning sticker wheel piece too which i think is really awesome i do really like the playability of this set and of course it also comes with a gorgeous teddy bear so we can't go wrong with that the final side build that we get in this set is this gorgeous little ice cream and waffle stand. We do make up a very cute looking little waffle maker, which is the little grey press bit in the centre of the table. We also add some string lights around this particular build as well. And I can't help but be reminded of Olivia's Cupcake Cafe with the shape of this particular side build as well. I think that the little brick built ice cream cupcake shapes have very reminiscent of each other there as well. Now that we have all the side builds out the way, we then kick off and start building up one of the large builds that come in this set. And this happens to be this fantastic whirly gig, spinny winny sort of thing that we create. So it does have its little walkway with some colorful lights and it's also got this gorgeous chair there. I do really, really like the sticker pattern on that chair with the little pink love hearts. I think that that's absolutely gorgeous. And then we keep building up, up, up for this particular fairground ride. So one of the things that I did want to discuss with you guys today while I'm chatting is some of the stuff to do with YouTube and the COPA law from the United States of America. This basically means that because my channel uses Lego and Lego is considered a toy, I will be swapping over my selection to be appealing to children. My intended audience is actually teens and adults, and that's how I've always sort of had my audience in mind, is that that's how I talk to you guys, that's how I engage with you guys. But if younger people do want to watch my videos, that's fine too. I made sure that my videos were very family friendly and, you know, appealing to everyone of all age groups. I don't mind labeling my videos as being child friendly. I don't have a problem with that, that's fine. I don't make any money from any of my YouTube videos. Again, I'm not expecting that at all. So that's fine too. I don't have a problem with that. It's a little weird that I will be losing my end screens by selecting the kid friendly option. But again, that's by the by. Some of my videos will look a little bit weird without end screens, but so what? No big deal for that. You guys won't be getting notified when I actually upload a new video, so that's going to be a little bit complicated. 
I will do my best to post reminders on Instagram when I upload a new video and I'll also make more of an effort to share all of my videos to Facebook too so that then you can just check in with both of those forms of social media to see my most recent videos. And on that note, I have finished that giant whirly gig machine thing, <laughs> fairground ride. And now we're actually moving on to the haunted ghost ship ride as well. So we do start off with a number of larger plates and we just start building up the base. And while I continue to build up the base on the screen, I do actually just want to touch base and say that I will be really disappointed that when I go to the kid friendly option, I will most likely lose my comments. I don't know when the comments will actually get switched off. There are a few channels that I have been following that have said that they've gone to the kids appealing option and they still have their comments at the moment. So whether or not the comments will get switched off on the 1st of January or sometime between now and then, I don't know because that's not really been communicated to us and that's probably the most disappointing thing for me in this whole process is because I do really really love chatting to you guys. It's been so wonderful for me to get to know so many of you, to take on board some of your requests and to work on different little collaborations with you and to really have fun chatting about Lego. So again, make sure that you do check in with my Facebook page and also my Instagram page because on both of those platforms, you will still be able to comment and chat away to me and all of those sorts of things too. So after that slightly weird and challenging conversation about all the legal aspects of uploading Lego clips, let's move on with this build because we have had a few spooky stickers added to this part of the set we're adding in our little skeleton chef and our gorgeous light brick as well and then building up more of the top of the ship so a few different bits and pieces getting added in to there and again I do really like the colors that they've selected for this as well with that beautiful dark lavender and also that bright light orange as well and the other thing that's really cool about this build is that we do get these fantastic little flag pieces as well and I do think that Lego designed them really well in order to have that sort of slightly tattered appearance as well making this bright and colourful haunted ghost ship sort of look a bit more haunted <laughs> as much as it can with pink and white and purple. So again a nice little addition with the little bluebird up the top as well. We also add in a few other little bits and pieces here and also a ship wheel too which is really cool. I did forget one piece there if you were watching really closely. And then we also get to add in the skeleton captain to the top of the ship too. And I do particularly like the way how Lego did put um, the captain on the spinning platform as well. And then we add in the little bat overhanging there, which is kind of cool because once we add in the actual carriages, the little riot that um, the mini dolls sit in is that as they brush past the bat, the bat actually swings backwards and forwards in order to add more of that haunted house type of a vibe to this particular build. I don't mind how Lego actually did this part of the ship with just these plates. However, from the side it does look quite flat. But again, that's not that uncommon for a lot of the Friends sets either. They do tend to be a little bit more on the skinny side. Again, we get to add in those beautiful tall masts with the raggedy sails as well and then we move on and start creating some of the other little decorations that will be going around the base of the ship as well including that gorgeous little brick built squid we add in lots more sea creatures and coral and crabs and shells and fish we get some more of those neon coral colored pieces as well to add in with the little green and yellow parts that we've already included in this set. And then we also have Chloe the mini doll. Now, based on her appearance, I think that she is 
actually in a mermaid costume and she's an employee of the amusement park and it's her job to take some photos as people whiz around this particular ride on their little carriages and all of that sort of stuff. I also really like the way how we created the jellyfish. I think that that looks fantastic. The coral with the carrot sticks, we probably could have done a little bit better. And then we also have Zach the mini doll in his sort of pirate looking outfit as well. I'm not too sure if he's meant to be an employee or whether or not he just enjoys getting dressed up and in costume to go along to amusement parks, you know, as his hobby and something fun to do. So a few more stickers there at the end. We've got a little sticker about the height requirements. We've also got a little sticker of one of the possible photos. And then we start building up this lovely little palm tree that we add to the very front of this particular ride. And here we are building up the little roller coaster carriage, which does look like a little rowboat, which I think is really cool. It's a little bit disappointing that we actually only get one of these. I find that to be a little bit strange, but fine, that's okay. You know, it would have been nicer to have maybe two or three that you could whiz round at different times and, and all of that sort of thing. No doubt when I place this into my amusement park, I will probably add an extra carriage. So here is this set in all its glory and what a big range of builds and mini dolls do we get. It is really fun, there's lots of playability in this set and I do think that it is really cool for the most part. As always, if you do enjoy this video, feel free to say hello in the comments if they're still there. Make sure that you check out my Facebook and my Instagram, and I do look forward to seeing you in my next video very, very soon. Take care and bye-bye.